how do you how do you how do you ensure oversight that what you are saying in vijayawada is being implemented in every corner of the state how do you ensure some element of accountability from each and every school because we've seen in the past government schools have not maintained the standards that that they should there are exceptions we have uh, uh, there's a thorough uh, monitoring system in place the headmasters the school committees uh, the joint collectors the collectors there's a there's a monitoring system in place and every school is monitored and at my level since i personally monitor uh, what's happening and i periodically take reviews not only with the education department also but with also the collectors also so there is an element of uh, uh, once you know once if the cm himself is taking reviews the government automatically moves on a particular subject now i know why you spend so little time in delhi because you've got to you've got to do this level of micro management here in andhra pradesh but you know one challenge of course is not just quality education but also ensuring that that education makes people employable one of the challenges you've had in andhra even before you came to power is un unemployment uh, graduates from andhra had one of the highest unemployment rates in india at 35% uh, is that a challenge to provide skills make them either entrepreneurial or provide them the skills that will enable them to compete in this increasingly globalizing world the focus was just not only on schools alone uh, rajdeep even the higher education also a lot of focus was applied on so much so that we changed the curriculum made it more job oriented our degrees uh, which is which are usually uh, three year courses are now internship is made mandatory in those courses where the summer vacation also somebody utilizes for internship and most of the, and all these courses degree courses are made four years with an honors degree as well so you have uh, you have online verticals you have a certificate giving online verticals also being made uh, which are also uh, being which are also being offered as part of the curriculum so you have internship which is mandatory you have uh, uh, online verticals part of the curriculum in fact so much so that we are also trying up we are inking a deal with edx going forward i think next month uh, uh, we are inking a deal with them where almost 1800 subjects if i'm wrong if i'm correct 1800 subjects uh, where uh, the to, what we doing rajdeep is we are giving in a particular uh, subject if somebody were to take we are improving the verticals making it part of the curriculum with credits and these subjects are going to be directly from harvard lse uh these kind of premium institutes through edx would be offering these courses online give me an example of a possible course that you think could be offered computers what would be offered say for instance uh, uh say for instance uh, say bcom for instance or or uh, none of them know about asset management and none of them know about risk management these kind of verticals you will find only in the western world a degree is offered which has got multiple verticals specializations which are offered which are available to a student only in the western world now what we doing is we bringing those verticals become part of our curriculum here through online education where credits are offered and this certificate is from that particular university directly with howard with lse with lbs and all these people become part of uh, through edx become part of our curriculum and this examination is conducted online once again with uh, with the certificate finally being issued by these premium institute lse would give a certificate 
uh, Harvard would give a certificate. So that particular subject would now become a part of our, cur our curriculum with that particular subject certified by them. <laughs>